Hi and welcome back. We have a very exciting treat for you today. Uh, as we all know, the holidays are a great time uh, for friends and family to gather around, uh, enjoy some good drinks and some great conversation. And there is nothing that helps better than that with that than a nice good eggnog bowl and punch. And so what we're going to do today is I'm going to teach you how to make some eggnog, uh, some really good eggnog, and, uh, and, and, and really get that party started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, separate some eggs. Get a couple of egg yolks, go ahead and um, whip those up with some sugar. And then uh, while you're doing that, get that really good, nice and whipped up together. While you're doing that, you're going to want to heat up some uh, milk and cream on the stove. And then you're just going to want to gently pour that, that milk into, or gently ladle that milk into your uh, yolk sugar mixture while, while vigorously, vigorously whisking it to make sure you don't get any clumps or whatever while you're cooking it. Then put it back on the stove for a little bit whisk it around a bunch, uh, turn off the heat, add a little bit of vanilla, and then uh, go ahead and put it in a container like this until you're ready to use it. And uh, so that's where we're at right now. Now there's a lot of things that generally people will, will put into their punch, can even put in a little bit of fernet if that's your thing. Uh, but generally people tend to go with either like a brandy cognac, a rum, or a, uh, a whiskey. And um, my personal preference is brandy. I love putting brandy in my egg punch. I think it does, or my eggnog, I think it uh, gives it just the right flavor. So you're going to want to use top shelf booze because it, all the flavors will be hidden by the sugar and eggnog and milk taste, so you won't taste it. So make sure you're using the most expensive booze you can find. That is not enough. So, you know, when you run out of brandy, go ahead and grab, uh, let's grab some rum. We're going to dump that in. We're going to pour in approximately, I think you're going to do about two ounces per, okay. Um, you're going to want to use about two ounces per glass, and uh, we still don't have enough. I'm going to give that a mix. Um, let's go to whiskey. Um, hmm. I think that's whiskey. Dump that in. I think think that is about enough. Let's hope so anyways. Give that a nice good stir. Make sure you mix it all up all the way through. Get everything in there so that uh, you know each glass is delicious to the last drop. Once you do that go ahead and just start ladling that into your glass. Ladle, ladle, ladle. You know what? Don't, for, don't worry about ladling it. It's 2020. We can't have big gatherings anyways. Just go ahead and throw in a straw, uh, garnish with some nutmeg, and have a drink. Cheers, enjoy the rest of your year.